Remember to set your alarm clock for 11 a.m. on New Year's Day because we are going to the Outback for the first bowl game in 2009. Hi there, I'm Lauren Shahadi. Welcome to your Outback Bowl preview. Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay is the site where the old ball coach is coming back to the Sunshine State, but luckily for him, he's facing Iowa instead of his alma mater, which roughed up his Gamecocks by 30 last time he stepped foot in this state. South Carolina finished 7-5 and five in the regular season, which in 2004 was good enough for Steve Spurrier to win SEC Coach of the Year. But the expectations rose and the results have not. Just about everyone in Columbia has a sour taste in their mouth with the way the team ended the regular season at the hands of a 31-14 loss to hated rival Clemson. Maybe, just maybe, a win in the Outback Bowl over Iowa may calm down the Gamecock faithful, but the Garnet and Black will have to stop Sean Green, and that is not an easy task. He's only got over 1,700 yards, 17 touchdowns, and is 2008 Doak Walker Award winner, starting with Green's 117-yard, two-touchdown performance in Iowa's win to end Penn State's title hopes on November 8th. The Hawkeyes have won three straight to end this season. It is about that time we bring in our college football columnist, Dennis Dodd. He is here to break down the matchup. Let's start with South Carolina. Gamecock faithful, expected better results this season, Dennis, but you were dead on with your fourth place SEC East finish for South Carolina. Well, just as I thought, they, they haven't improved offensively uh, in the time Steve Spurrier's been there. This year, only SMU had more passes intercepted than South Carolina. SMU had 25. South Carolina had 24. They struggled at the quarterback position again, um, and they just haven't been able to move the ball. They're pretty salty on defense, but I think 7-5 and five for this team, which is expected to take the next step this season, is probably a disappointment. Dennis, the Hawkeyes are riding high after that big win over Penn State. It's really been a bounce-back year for Iowa, a team that put up a two-win improvement over a 6-6 six and six mark just a year ago. On to the matchup, though. South Carolina has a top-40 rushing defense. Will that be enough to stop Sean Green? Well, he's running against everybody so far, so you wouldn't expect South Carolina to slow him down. He's the only back in the country that surpassed 100 yards in all 12 games this season, and, and Iowa kind of got back to its roots in pounding the ball at people, slowing the game down. You saw the Penn State game where they were able to rally and come back and win by a point and look like an old-fashioned Big Ten game. The problem is, you know, everyone wants to talk about Sean Green getting to the Heisman ceremony. They started 3-3 three and three before they figured this thing out. Um, and in that same time, all those Big 12 quarterbacks were lighting it up. So he got kind of left behind, made a few All-America all teams, but not many. But I think he'll be the guy they ride in this game. He will be the guy they ride. Who wins this matchup? I think Iowa. Uh, you know, Iowa had the better year. It, it knows what it wants to do offensively. It's okay on defense. South Carolina still sputtering. To, uh, to find an identity on offense, and you would think that would continue into the bowl game. Dennis Sod, our college football columnist, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. You bet. For everything college football, CBSSports.com is the place to be. I'm Lauren Shahadi. Until next time.